Okay, I'm going to show you how to iron fabric in case you've never done that before. This piece has come out of the wash. I'm a pre-washer, remember, and I know it has because I can look at this little corner that's been whacked off, and that's how I know this one's been washed. Plus, you can tell the ratty edges, the little strings on it. I'm fine with that, and this is why I clip off the corners so I can really grab this stuff and just take it all off if I need it. Well, as I don't need it, as the case may be. Anyway, here we go. First step is spritz it. A little spray bottle from the dollar store. Getting it all wet, not damp. And after it's been suitably moistened, I wad it up in a little ball, and I leave it on the ironing table. There you go. Hopefully, I can come back, and it's not moldy and not dried out. So somewhere in between moldy and dried out is what you want. Then I take it, and this is a little odd, but I'm going to block the salvage edge. So how that happens is I set it up on the ironing board like so, and I take my iron that has been preset to hot, as hot as it will go, all the way up to reheat lasagna. And then I take and I very carefully, just a little tug on the fabric, and I move the iron along the salvage edge. I do this on both sides. So there's side one, and somewhere here in camera range, hopefully, we'll move over so you can see side two. Still moving over so you can see side two. Now well, let's hope this will work. A little bit closer here. Here's side two. Again, step on it with the iron. A little tension by pulling on the fabric. My hand is out of camera range, but it would look something like this it was closer. Okay, and I'm just making this straight. That's going to be important later on. I do that to both sides of the fabric, and then when I'm ironing in real life, what I'm going to do, hang on scooter just a minute, what I do is I always move the iron in the direction of the grain, straight of grain, parallel to the salvage edges. This way, when I'm using steam, we don't want to remember to put water in the iron, I'm never going to distort the fabric. If I were to take the iron and go back and forth like this, especially with steam, I could actually iron a belly into this fabric and distort it. So for that reason, I always move the iron in the direction of the grain. Is this exciting? I'll be painting next so you can watch that dry. Just a minute, Scooter. Okay, got to go take care of the dog. Be right back. Okay, dog's outside. I'm back ironing. And here's the next segment. Again, I'm going to use my iron to block this salvage edge, pulling a little bit as I go. And then I'm always moving my iron parallel to the salvage edge. I'm almost done. So is the steam in my iron, apparently. So... For those of you watching at home, please make the steam sound. Okay, enough of that. I'll be right back when I get it positioned again. After the fabric has been ironed, you need to pick it up and fold it in half. The best way i found to fold fabric in half is to grab it from the middle and roll it back and forth and I'm looking to make those salvage edges at the bottom parallel. They don't have to be even, one on top of the other, but parallel is what I'm after. That's nowhere near. Lick my fingers, kind of go back and forth like that. And in order for me to do this, I have to try it out a couple times. Look at it, adjust one finger or the other, shake it to make it come out, and I'm almost there. That's Pretty good. I'll check it on this side also. Nothing funny is hanging off. And I think I'm good to go. So I spread it out on the ironing surface. And I want to look, make sure it's even. Cut it like that. And then I'm going to grab it from the fold and bring that up to these two salvage edges. As I'm bringing it up, I sort of go back and forth with my hands. And I can almost do this with my eyes closed. I'm trying to feel 
that there's nothing funny going on here as I bring the fold exactly up to the raw edge. I also want to pet it to make sure there's nothing going on, no wrinkles, no lumps, no bumps. And I do that all the way across. Now I'm ready to take it over to the cutting mat and use my rotary ruler and blade to even this stuff up on the edges and cut the strips that I need for whatever project I'm working on. My first task is to even up this uneven edge. Before I do any cutting though, I want to make sure that the fabric is aligned to the lines on my mat. I do use those lines. I think they're super important. And I have placed the salvage edges together on top with that rolled edge. And this is the edge I'm looking for because there's one of this and there's three of those. So it's easier for me to look here. And I lay it on the line on my mat and then I step on it with a finger. And I step on it here and I step on it here. Because if I don't compress it and get rid of that little pocket of air, I can't tell for sure if all the pieces are lined up. Having done that, I'm going to adjust it just a little bit. I want it right to the line where I can see it. So stepping on the crease is a big help for me. Then what I'm going to do is take a rotary ruler and plop it down. I want to go through all four layers of this folded fabric and I want to have fun and do a good job. So I'm going to look at the lines on the ruler and the lines on the mat and I put one on top of the other. I've noticed over the years that it's easier for me to look here where the lines are on the ruler than it is at the edge of the ruler. So sometimes I will even move my ruler so that I can be a quarter inch off, so to speak, so that I can tell exactly where the line on the ruler is in relation to the line on the mat. Now, to move your ruler just a teeny tiny bit, take your thumbnail, put it against the ruler, and then you can tip it this way, or use your other thumbnail and tip it that way. A very small amount of movement right here, and you can do it on either side, like that, will get your ruler in exactly the place you need it. If you use your hands, it sometimes moves it more than you wish. So here we are. I take it and I'm cutting right handed, open up my blade, here I go. I've gone through all layers and I check and confirm by opening this thing up and yes I have. Then you know what? I put it kind of back down where it was. I save it because now I'm going to move my ruler over this way and let's say I'm cutting a narrow strip. Well this has a little bulk just like this. If I didn't have that bit of messy fabric on the other end, if I were cutting a one inch strip, my ruler might indeed tip and give me an inaccurate cut. So here I am again and I'm lining up for my one inch cut. There's my one inch line over the raw edge of the fabric, the cut edge of the fabric. There's where I'm going to cut and I'm using my left hand now because I've taught myself how to cut with my smart hand and my stupid hand doesn't make me any more accurate, but it makes me faster. Actually, I'm pretty accurate both ways. But that's what I use that little scrap for, and this is how I make the first cut, and I do use the lines on the mat. I'll show you now how to do this from a right-handed person's perspective. So hang on just a second, I'll reset. Okay, here I am pretending to be right-handed. Again, always line up the fabric with the line on the mat. Make sure it's even. Compress it with your index finger or any other finger you like to make sure that air pocket is gone and the fabric is lined up precisely. Then, to even things off, line your ruler up against the lines on the mat, either using the lines here or you can also line up the edge. I have a little bit of difficulty with that, but I can just look over here and line up the lines on the ruler to the lines on the mat. The first cut is made with your stupid hand. That goes through all four layers, gets rid of all this nonsense. Move it over here to balance out your ruler, especially if you're cutting small strips. And now, realign the ruler with the line on the mat. You'll notice it's completely even, no tipping. It's going to be nice and accurate. And now use your favorite hand, your smart hand, to cut this one inch strip. Blade closed. Always confirm nice and straight, no snakes, no jagged funky edges, ready to go. Have fun!